Our mission to serve adults experiencing food insecurity, rising hope, feeding the homeless, and those with shelter insecurity. Phoenix Rising operates out of Rising Hope United Methodist Mission Church to combat extreme hunger on the Richmond Highway Corridor. The program focuses on bringing weekend meals to those who are homeless or living in low-income homes, such as motels. Volunteers also regularly go into the woods to make deliveries of food packets. We have stayed in close contact with this ministry this year so we can be made aware of additional rising needs. COVID-related increased food costs and food safety challenges for food delivery put a great strain on this ministry. These combined concerns have helped us discern the need to significantly increase our financial contributions to this program in 2020, knowing that we must do our part to help ensure that these local residents need not go hungry when other soup kitchens close. New Hope Housing, Arcadia Farms Fresh Produce Delivery to Monlock House. As Jesus names the ways he was shown love as a stranger, the first one he names is, for I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. We believe food is such a powerful way to love people. And this year, we are excited about a new and very important partnership with Arcadia Farm. Love is not just providing the bare minimum, it is giving the very best that we can. We see this in all the healthy meals prepared by members of our church for ministries like Monlock House and the Hypothermia Shelter. Located on the grounds of Woodlawn Estate, Arcadia Farms will help us find additional ways to get high quality, fresh foods to those who need them. Arcadia Farm has three unique programs, including its Food Access Program. Like Washington Farm Church, through this program, the farm is committed to increasing access to healthy, fresh farm food in underserved neighborhoods. We have identified new locations, including at the New Hope Housing and Rising Hopes food programs. Our prayer in 2021 is to extend this partnership so that the farm works with Meals on Wheels, Rising Hope Seniors, the sick and shut-in, and others in need. We were able to use our long-established connection with New Hope Housing to connect their leadership with Arcadia Farm leaders. New Hope Housing's mission is to end the cycle of homelessness in this area by providing men, women, and children the tools they need to change their lives. We also immediately thought of Monlock House as a perfect place to deliver fresh produce. Monlock House is a New Hope housing home for eight adults with significant mental health issues. In addition to coordinating monthly meal donations to Monlock House, we now help sponsor Arcadia Farms' bi-weekly delivery of fresh produce to the residents of Monlock House. Any leftover produce will go to Monlock Place. Providing nutritious, fresh fruits and vegetables will greatly contribute to New Hope Housing's long-term goal of giving homeless residents the tools that they need to live their best lives. Our mission to serve children who have weekend hunger. In answering the call of Christ to care for the least of our brothers and sisters, we are intentional about making sure the needs of children in our community are being met. 2020 has brought greater challenges in meeting these needs as the normal avenues of assessing needs of children, the schools, have been closed, but we have been faithful in our focus. Woodlawn Elementary Weekend Hunger Food Program. 
Throughout the years, including last year, we have bought and made weekend food bags for children at Woodley Hills, Woodlawn, Riverside, and Washington Mill Elementary Schools. Individuals on our committee have been in touch with the guidance counselors at each of these schools, working to identify children who would otherwise fall through the cracks. This year, approximately eight children were identified by the guidance counselor at Woodlawn Elementary as having no food at home to eat on the weekends. Our committee sponsored these children, purchasing enough food items for them to have breakfast on both weekend days and dinner for several months. We delivered prepared food packs to that school that included milk, juice, fruit, and other high-protein foods until the COVID-19 shutdown, when, unfortunately, we were not able to track these children. Our prayers for these eight children and their families have continued even though our food packs have ceased. Mount Vernon Day to Serve, Food for Others and Hungry School Children. We love Day to Serve in Mount Vernon. This is a national day of service established after 9-11, where our community comes together to make sure that hungry kids have access to healthy food. Six days of food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner are packed into what are affectionately known as power packs. Our church made several wonderful donations to the day to serve, including school supplies, sanitation supplies, and of course, food. In past years, the day to serve deliveries were made directly to children at their schools. This year, Food for Others arranged for the power packs to be delivered to local community centers where they were put directly into the hands of the children and their families. We have a long-standing relationship with Rising Hope that we are passionately committed to. Their commitment to minister and love to those living in poverty and on the margins of society is one that we believe embodies Matthew 25. We have long supported them in all the ways they serve our community. This year has been a year of learning to flex with the ministry of Rising Hope. At the beginning of the year, we were excitedly working with Brian Bourne and his group Dominion Brass on a second concert. Dominion Brass is a large brass and percussion ensemble made up of professional musicians and music educators from the Washington, D.C. area. Members donate their time and talents in concerts that benefit various local nonprofits. Along with Aldersgate UMC, Washington Farm had hosted Dominion Brass for a hugely successful con concert fundraiser. This year's concert was scheduled for May and like many other things, had to be canceled due to COVID-19. We look ahead to sharing music and fellowship with Dominion Brass, Aldersgate, and Rising Hope in future years. This year, we have found many ways to support and increase our support for Rising Hope. Our fourth Sunday of the month collection has continued with food coming on a more regular basis than just a, once a month. Cyberdux has been collecting food from the fellowship patio of the education building um, almost every week. In a pre-COVID year, Rising Hope also houses Ventures and Community Hypothermia Shelter and provides 25 beds during the cold winter months, December through March. This year, it will look a little bit different for volunteers. We will still have, um, in a normal year, we would have nightly shifts at the hypothermia shelter. This year, we'll be providing meals for a much larger group we also, our youth, challenged us as a church to join Rising Hope's virtual 5K, where our congregation contributed $2,150, $500 of which was a matching gift from our outreach committee. 
It was fun to be able to rally around our sister church in this way. We've just finished making arrangements to provide yams for Thanksgiving baskets. This is such an amazing gift because every single Thanksgiving basket that goes out from Rising Hope will have a little part of Washington Farm in it in the form of yams. We were able to work with Giant Food, who gave us a discount and made the delivery of 660 cans of yams with no delivery charge. One of the greatest gifts we get to be a part of at Christmas is the Rising Hope Angel Program. We have 60 children this Christmas waiting for you to adopt gifts of around $25 for them. This year, all children in our community have experienced disruption, but especially children who are home and food insecure. These gifts are more than the items we wrap. They represent normalcy, a moment where they can simply be children. It is a gift of love to parents who often want to give more but are in financial situation where they simply can't, particularly this year. Our church is able to bring joy and love to the lives of 60 children at Christmas. While the primary purpose of the Outreach Committee is to spread the gospel in our local community, we look for small ways to show love and care for the congregation. This year, we created and delivered care packages for those who were sick, and we also um, made masks for congregation members in addition to the masks we made for Rising Hope. Our mission more than, is more than to work on the Route 1 corridor. It is taking care of one another wherever there is a need.